The high school football season comes and goes with a blink of an eye. We patiently wait through the offseason with little teases from spring ball and two-a-days before that moment finally arrives. From August through November, every Friday night there are games one after another until it all finally comes to an end and there's nothing left. The 2019 season is officially over for our 24 Concho Valley schools, but it was certainly memorable. A traditional rivalry between Wall and Mason kicked off the season, and fittingly, when it was all said and done, they were the final two 11-man teams standing in the regional semifinals. 17 teams made the playoffs here in the Concho Valley, and who would have guessed the Blackwell Hornets would have made it the furthest out of everybody, advancing to their first state semifinal in program history. It was an up and down year for San Angelo's biggest schools, Central entered district with a 500 record, but battled through a tough District 36A for their 10th consecutive postseason appearance. Lakeview made a bit of history of their own, starting 3-0 for the first time since 1983. Of course, there were the favorites coming into the year who lived up to expectations. The Wallhawks were ranked all season long, eventually moving into the top spot in 3A Division I and secured their 10th consecutive district title. It was going to be hard for the Mason Punchers to repeat their 2018 season, and after having their 40-game home winning streak snapped at the Puncher Dome, they breezed through their district for another district championship. And then we have our surprise teams. No one expected the Brady Bulldogs to compete in their district, let alone make the playoffs. And they did both, falling one game short of winning a district championship. After a 2-8 season the year before, the Ozona Lions finished with an 8-4 record and nearly upset two of the best teams in the state in the process, earning them an area-round appearance in the playoffs. And who would have thought the Erie and County Hornets in their first year of six-man in over 40 years would have had the year that they had. They finished with a 7-3 record and played for an outlaw state championship. There was a fair share of district title races, and like many expected, District 8-2A Division II came down to the last week of the season again. And unlike last year where there was a three-way tie for the district title, El Dorado defeated Cristobal and earned the right to be called outright district champs. From an individual standpoint, there were two players who stood out among the rest. Central receiver Tanner Davert caused problems for secondaries all season long, totaling 71 catches for 1,100 yards and 15 touchdowns. And then there's Cristobal's quarterback, Braden Wilcox. Simply put, he was a human highlight reel this season, beating defenders with his legs rushing for over 1,800 yards and accounting for 44 touchdowns. Oh, and he'll be back next season. 2020 will be interesting with UIL realignment coming in February. There's the hope that Central could be headed back west, and there will be plenty of changes to districts as we know them. But until then, let's not look ahead and instead enjoy the great football we saw in 2019.